Any brand, everywhere. Amongst all watches, Titan is the winner of the Red Dot Design Award, which is equivalent to the Oscar Award in the film world and holds the record of the slimmest watch in the world. Titan is the fifth largest watchmaker in the world, sold in 32 countries and has over 1,000 varieties catering to more than 135 million customers worldwide. Why don't you be one of them? Titan is now in Bhutan with Kushu Enterprise, the sole distributor. Visit us at Kelwang Building near Clock Tower in Thimpu. We have genuine Titan watches for all, from school-going children to office goers to armed force personnel to sportsmen with contemporary to classic designs. You can get your choice of watch at Titan. Get your Titan from Tashi Commercial Corporation in Penciling, Gelifu, Samdup Jongkar, Paro and Thimpu, Bhutan Distributor in Penciling, Choden Songkang in Mongar, Tsering Doji General Store in Tashigang, and Royal Bhutan Army Canteen in Thimpu. A Titan watch is not only a timepiece, but also a piece of jewellery with a sentimental value. Get a jewel for yourself and for your loved ones at MRP ranging from 450 to 25,000 Neutron. When you choose Titan, you are choosing a lifetime companion you can depend on every day and every season. and welcome to Do You Know Your Child? I'm your host, Choni. When dealing with a child, especially a toddler, reasoning with them does not always work. You can often get a child to cooperate by involving him or her in the process. For example, instead of simply asking your daughter to get dressed, try asking her if she would like to wear her pink dress or her purple dress. Since both are acceptable choices, you get what you want and your child gets to feel like they have a little control in their own lives. In our last show, our participant made some commitments. Let's see how well they're doing. So actually, my daughter said that we fight, that is fight too. Uh, but actually what we do is, I, uh, when I okay, talk with my family or with my husband, I start talking loudly. And actually too, when we discuss something, in front of Sid, thought that we were quarreling and she didn't like it. So <laughs> now, after, from that day onwards, I never shouted or talked on the top of my voice in front of my kids. Whatever talk we have, we talk behind the door. Behavior or character of my daughter is, she's very obedient. After she made her commitment not to watch organ cockroaches, she has stopped completely watching that. Instead, she watches Barbie. And this year, she has switched on to reading, more of reading than watching TV. On the show, I promised not to watch Augie and the Cockroach. I don't watch at all. She put Jill's snacks box at the bus stop. Jill saw two other children standing there. I don't want to go to the school. The boy also got into the bus. There were even more children in the school. Teaching good habits should start early. While a baby or a toddler is too young to be responsible for chores or even cleaning their own room, you can start involving them in the process. Make a game out of putting the toys away and have them help you around the house. They'll feel like a big kid when you let them help out with chores, like taking out the trash or feeding the dog. Let's see which family we have today. Okay, I would like to introduce my son. My youngest son, Sonam Jatso Dorji, and then my daughter, Haki Yangdin. She's in uh, 12th grade in Yang Chinfo High School. And my other two sons are still studying in the college. And my husband uh, in Kanglung. He, he's a lecturer at Kanglung College. Let's welcome our first participant, Mom Karma Degi, and ask son, Sonam later the same questions and tally their answers. Welcome to the show, Ola. And my first question, as always, is do you know your child? Yes, I know my child. Okay, all right. Yes. Um, tell me a little something about your family. 
Okay. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank uh, BBS and uh, the coordinator of the show for inviting me to, you know, like uh, come for the uh, Do You Know Your Child mm -hmm. show. So uh, I would like to introduce myself first. Mm -hmm. I'm Karma Diki, a filmmaker mm -hmm. and a mother of four. Okay. Yeah. All right, so you have four children. You don't yes. look like you have four children, seriously. <laughs> and you've come here with your... Um, My youngest son. Your youngest. Yes. Okay, tell me something about your children. You said you have four. Yes. How do you manage to keep sane when you have four children? Yes, I became a mother at a very uh, young age. Mm -hmm. So 18, I got my first child. Then uh, the second, the 19. Yeah. So I grew up with my children I because see. I was very young. And then uh, that time, uh, you know, like it's, it was not my age to take a, a mother mm -hmm. responsibilities. But then I did good, you know, raising up my child. Yeah. Yeah. And then uh, third is my daughter. Mm -hmm. So she is uh, now a 12th grade. Okay. Yeah. And then after 10 years, you know, like uh, coming back from abroad, mm -hmm. then I got my youngest son. Youngest. Wow. So he is now seven years old. So you had your first child when you were 18, 18. And you had your last child when you were? 34, yeah. Okay, uh, now 34. as someone who's given birth when they were young and someone who has given birth after 30, which one would you recommend? Because I know there are a lot yeah. of people wondering yeah. and they're still... They don't, still don't have an answer. They they want to be a mom, mm -hmm. but they're not sure if that's the right age. So, yeah. what do you think? Yeah, would be it's the right a age? good opportunity for me to explain. To, you know, like when is the right age to become a mother? Mm -hmm. You know, in my time, like when I was young, at 18 years old, uh, with a child, mm -hmm. it was very difficult to manage. And then that time, you were not uh, mature enough. You know how to handle child and. How, what are the things to be done? Mm -hmm. uh, and then uh, when when I gave birth to the the youngest one, mm -hmm. that time I was mature enough, 34. So that time, I think uh, it's a right age to become a mother. Okay, so yeah. you think being a mother after 30 is is uh, is okay? It's okay because in our culture, as you know, they say, oh, why wait till 30? They say 25 is the right age. Do yes, yes. In right our age? culture, like, uh, yeah, many people, they believe in, you know, becoming mother at very young age. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But, you know, like, if it happens to be at the young age, uh, you know, you cannot avoid that. But I uh, would uh, advise that, you know, like, uh, you should be mature enough, uh, you know, like, to become a mother. I see. Now, there are also one, one last question before okay. we move on at the game. Um, there are also people who say, you know what, why wait? Why wait? Why not just grow up with your child? It's nice. Mm -hmm. they, some people have that um, mm -hmm. comment and they think that. So what, what, do, you, what do you say to that? Do you, you did that, right? Yeah. You said you grew up with your child. So yeah. do you think that's nice? Yeah, or? when you become a mother at a young age, uh, if you have your parents around, I think uh, it's okay mm -hmm. because, uh, you know, like uh, during my time, my mom was there all the time, okay. you know, with all the three children. So, so she was there helping me with uh, everything for, for the children. I see. So if, if you are alone and at a young age you become a mother, it's a <laughs> very, you know, tough. Uh, uh, of yeah, course. Yeah. And it helps to have um, uh, someone who's experienced in the yeah. house to look yeah. after you yes. and the baby. You, you need someone, uh, yeah, yeah, adult, you know, like, who can uh, take care of uh, the children and mm. you, who can advise you, you know, how you have to handle your baby. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right, thank you so much for that. Um, okay. Let me explain to you the rules coming back to the show. Okay. Um, I have 10 questions in here with me. I'm going to ask these 10 questions to mm -hmm. you first, sure. and then we'll have your son come over, mm -hmm. and I'll ask these same questions to him, okay. and then later we'll tally the answers, sure. and that'll be your score. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah. Here's your question number one. Who is your son's favorite teacher? Ma'am, uh, Camila, you know, his maths uh, teacher. Camilla, yeah. math teacher. And I asked why. He says, you know, she got the best teaching. Uh, you oh, know, really? Prize. Okay, <laughs> I see. Yeah. All right. Question number two. Who is your child's favorite cartoon character? Dragon Ball and... <laughs> okay, that's his yeah. favorite I think I, I think I might be right. I might be wrong. Mm -hmm. um, Dragon Ball Z is the sh name of the show. Mm -hmm. and But I, here I'm asking for the character... Would you know any of the names from Dragon Ball Z? Dragon Ball Z, I don't know the character, but uh, that was his favorite, uh, you know, like, uh, 
okay. against the world. You know what yeah. I'm going to do? When I ask this question to your son, mm -hmm. if he says any of the characters from Dragon Ball Z, mm -hmm. I'm going to give you the point. But if okay. he says something else, then you okay. wouldn't get the point, okay? Yeah, sure. All right. Question number three. How many hours of television does he get to watch in a day? You know, like a few months ago, he used to watch a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, not, not I mean, every day, but uh, when he used to watch, he continues till the the story ends. Okay. So that was quite uh, maybe half an hour to one hour. Oh, it goes okay. That way. But these days he started, you know, like uh, uh, getting friendly to the never outside. Mm -hmm. And then he goes out of house and plays around and chasing them. Oh, that's, <laughs> you know? I think that's yeah. better. So he avoided uh, watching television recently, okay. but he does watch. So max one, one hour maybe? Uh, yes. Okay, one all right. But that's good though. I think you should encourage mm -hmm. him um, mingling with his neighbors. Of course, you need to keep an eye on who's yeah. hanging out yeah. with what they're doing. Mm -hmm. But I think um, you should not entrust television as a mm -hmm. babysitter. I think that's just the, yeah. Question number four. At what time does he wake up in the morning? Uh, seven o'clock, 7.30. Seven, to seven, seven to I ten. tell him to wake up, no, like, then okay. he takes time to get up and then... Of course, <laughs> of course. I know, I know. All right. Seven to seven thirty, okay? Question number five. What is your son's favorite animal? Till now, we, we, we have no uh, pet mm -hmm. at home, but he likes a dog. Okay, all right. Yeah. Has he ever asked you to, like, get a dog? Yes, he, he asked answer? once and then, uh, yeah, we tried. Uh -huh. We tried, I asked my husband to get one from Saktin okay. because they have a very you know, cute little puppy. Yeah. So, yeah, we are trying to get one for him. <laughs> oh, so you, you don't have it yet, but you're trying? No, we to... don't have it yet. Okay, yeah. all right, I see. Question number six, on his last birthday, what was his favorite gift? I did buy some toys, I, I can't remember. <laughs> okay, all right, yeah. okay. Question number seven, what is his favorite fruit? Uh, he likes to eat mango. Okay. Yeah, right. and I also try to balance with other fruits. I see. Not okay. only mango. That's good. Yeah. Question number eight. With whom does your child spend more time, you or his father? Uh, me, because his father uh, is in Kanglung, so he's not with us. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. So, Long distance here yeah. then. Okay. And so is, when is he, your son okay? Yeah, he's okay. When he comes, so he always gives his time uh, only to his son. I see. So, That's nice. That's yeah. really nice. Question number nine. Does your child know the age of the fourth king when he was enthroned? Yeah, he might know, but uh, not that uh, concerned okay. about it. I'm yeah. going to take yes. Yeah. Okay? Okay. All right. <laughs> Last question. When is your son's birthday? 7th September. Okay, are you sure you're not mixing up with the other three? Ah, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the second son is 3rd uh, September. Okay. So I have, uh, you know, like uh, in family, three of them falls in the same month. Oh, easy My to husband. Remember. Okay. And the uh, youngest one and the second son. I see. 7th September. September. 7th September. Okay, all right. Thank you so much. Uh, you've answered all the 10 questions. Now we're going to have your son answer the questions for us, okay? Sure. All right. Before we move on, can you introduce yourself, please? My name is Sonam Jastoji. I am in third standard. I study in Little Dragon. I like to play Dragon Ball. Okay, what is Dragon Ball? Mm, fighting games. Okay, all right. Also, Nam, I asked your mom 10 questions about you. Now I'm going to ask these 10 questions. The question? Okay. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. Question number one. Who is your favorite teacher? Uh, Madam Kumari Rai. Ma Madam Kumari Rai. Okay. And uh, what subject does she teach? Maths. Is math also your favorite subject? No. no, but you still like the teacher. Yes. That's really good then. She must be really nice. Is she really nice? Yes. That's good. Okay, question number two. What is your favorite cartoon character? Um, Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball. Okay, all right. Um, is that a cartoon character? Is that? Okay, all right. Question number three. How long... How many hours of television do you watch in a day? Two or three. Two or three, okay, all right. Question number four. At what time do you wake up in the morning? Mm, seven. Seven, okay. Next question. What is your favorite animal? Mm, cheetah. You like cheetahs? Why? Because it runs fast. Okay, it's the fastest runner, right? Wow, okay. But what about domestic animals? 
horse, horse, you like horses. Okay, all right. Um, next question. On your last birthday, what was your favorite gift? I got dinner. Oh, you went out for dinner? Okay, all right. Who took you out? My mother. Okay, all right. And did, you, did she buy you anything? Of course, she sponsored the whole dinner. I mean, that's a big gift, right? But did she give you anything? Yes. Oh, yes, what did she give? She gave me a toy. Toys, okay, all right. And were you happy? Okay, all right, that's good. Okay, next question. What is your favorite fruit? Mango. Mango. Next question. Who do you spend more time with? With your mom or with your dad? Dad. With dad, okay, all right. And second last question. The king that we have right now is fifth king, right? You know that. Mo, do you know his name? Jimmy Gese Nangyewon. Excellent. Okay. Our fifth king has a father, right? Who is the fourth king, right? So now, when our fourth king became the king, do you know how old he was? Seventeen. Seventeen. Okay. All right. Let's see. The last question. When is your birthday? In September 7. Okay, September 7. You've answered all the 10 questions. Now, um, we're going to take a look at your mom's score. Tupkush. Who is your son's favorite teacher? Komila. Ma'am, Komila Rai. Who is your child's favorite cartoon character? Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball. How many hours of television does he get to watch in a day? Half an hour to one hour. Two or three. At what time does he wake up in the morning? Uh, seven o'clock. Seven. What is your son's favorite animal? Dog. Cheetah. On his last birthday, what was his favorite gift? Toys. Two. What is his favorite fruit? Mango. Mango. With whom does your child spend more time? You or his father? Me. Dad. Does your child know the age of the fourth king when he was enthroned? Yeah, 17. When is your son's birthday? 7th September. September 7th. The first question that she didn't answer correctly was the hours of television that you watch. She says you really don't watch a lot of television. But you said two to three hours a day. Who is right? I think me. I think you, okay. <laughs> what happened there? Is, is, that, is that right? He uh, watches two to three hours of television? Two to three hours. You don't watch me, Vivi. I think you go out to play. Mm? <laughs> no? Okay. But you know what, Sunam? I think two to three is too much. If you want to be grow up uh, to a smart person, okay, if you want to be someone um, brilliant, you need to watch at, um, less than that. Look, what television is not too good. I mean, of course you have to watch it sometimes, right? You get bored. It's fun to watch, but maybe an hour. One hour a day. Can we do that? All right. The next question was favorite animal. Your mom said you like dogs. So maybe she'll bring a cheetah as a pet now mm. at home. <laughs> Would you like a cheetah as a pet? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Or horses, maybe. I heard your appa is away, though. He's a lecturer, right? In Kangwong, right? So how do you get to spend more time with him? When he comes. Okay, when he comes. Ah, okay, I see. Maybe because you're always there yeah. and he doesn't <clears throat> put yes. in effort to spend time with yes. you. Maybe that's why. Yes. But you know what? This is your show, so your answer is correct, okay? <laughs> so mom's answer is wrong. And what uh, that brings the point to seven. It's not zero, it's seven. Seven out of ten. Is that good? Can I see a smile? <laughs> there you go. Okay. So seven out of ten, that's a good, good score. Me? So you need to be happy that your mom knows you well. Now let's go to the part where we have the commitments. So reflecting on these questions mm -hmm. or maybe just reflecting on how you have been a mom. Any resolution or any remedy? Anything you feel like you need to change as a mom? Maybe because of my profession as a filmmaker, mm -hmm. because I stay out, uh, you know, like uh, quite long, mm -hmm. and uh, not giving, uh, you know, like enough time, like uh, a full-time mother. Of course, of you course. Know, yeah. and then, but uh, uh, you know, like I make sure that uh, someone is there to take mm -hmm. care of my children. Yeah. So I have to compromise with my work and then the time at mm -hmm. home. Uh, but um, I'm happy that, uh, you know, like my 
I have like four children and three already grown up. Yeah. So you know, like yeah, there are always like ups and downs in life. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, especially uh, dealing with the teenage uh, children. Yeah. But yeah. then uh, I think we succeed. Yeah. You know, like they graduated, and then um, the other two are coming up. And then now we have him as a youngest and just, uh, you know, uh, uh, with the grown-up, uh, uh, yeah. you know, parents and brother and sister. So mm -hmm. yeah, I'm, mean, I'm hoping uh, the best. You are a lucky child. Your mom has had experience with uh, me with three children. So you should be perfection. <laughs> it should be very easy for them to bring you up. But um, I know each child is different. Mm -hmm. So... Uh, your mom has said that she her commitment is tr she will try and s try and make time for you, Imbe. Okay, that means she'll give you more <laughs> attention. Okay, now it's your turn to make the commitment. I have three commitments here for you from your mom. Okay, uh, I want you to pick one, and you can give it to me, and I'll read it for you. Tosh. Not to go out of house. Do you go out often? Why do you go out? To play. To play. Do you play outside a lot? Yes. Okay, I personally think it is good that at this age in time, you are playing outside. A lot of your friends are playing inside, which is not good at all. They're always they're either watching TV or they're playing video game on the same television screen, which is really bad. But what you're doing is, I think, good. If you do it for too long, it's not good. Of course, so one hour of television, one hour of going out, one hour of homework, maybe one hour of reading, and you'll have a perfect life. I just mentioned like not to go uh, out of house mm -hmm. because uh, uh, our apartment is just nearby the highway. So oh, okay. I'm afraid that he might, uh, That's very you know, true. like uh, go on. The... Now the drivers yeah. are getting reckless. They think they're in a very in a racing car, right? And they drive so fast, they don't see anyone around, which can be risky, right? So you should understand your mother's concern. And if she's concerned about you staying out for too long, then I think you should just keep it for one hour. But I'm really proud that I am meeting someone as special as you who still enjoy playing outside, which is really good. My favorite segment now, which is with love. <laughs> to be your son. I love you. Thank you so much for being my good mother. Love to my dad and mom from your son. Sonam Jastoji. Okay, all right. Dear son, I'll be your best mother. No matter what, I will always try my best to educate you and make you a better person. I wish you all the best in studies and be a good boy. With love, mommy. What did you understand? She wants you to study hard and be a good boy, right? Do you think you can do that? Yes, I can. Great. We've come to a fa my favorite part. I know you're going to like that too because this is where I shower you with gifts. I have these books here, but I definitely want to talk to you about this book. This book is written by someone called Legzen Pelzen Pamo. She is not a grown-up. Huh? She is in class nine. She is just a few years older than you, and yet she has come out with a book. Isn't that fantastic? So, I'm giving this to you because I want you to be inspired and motivated by this girl. She did not wait for her to finish college to write a book. She already wrote. So, if you want to do anything, don't wait. You should just get started. Of course, I have these books here and I have this very popular. You know what's inside, right? What is inside? Watch. A watch, okay, all right. <laughs> so here, these are all for you. Mommy doesn't get anything. With this, I want to thank you and your mom for coming to the show and being a great, great, great guest. While electronics such as television, video games, and tablets and iPads can be useful entertainment and even educational tools, we need to be careful not to rely on them too much. In addition, when your child grows up playing outdoors, it helps keep diseases at bay. 
Come back next week, and if you'd like to be a part of the show, or if you have any suggestions or feedback, please write to us at parenting at bbs.bt. Thank you, and bye-bye.